It's vital to your business. It's vital to you bringing out the entrepreneur in you. Hello. The last two episodes, we've learned about your cost per lead, which is the cost it takes you to generate one lead. And then we learned about the conversion rate, which is your efficiency at turning those leads into paying customers. Today, we speak about your customer retention rate, which is your company or your business's ability to retain or keep the customers that you now have. So you need three numbers or three figures or three sets of data in order to do this. Let's start with the first set of data. You need to know the number of customers that you start the year with. Let's call this start customers. And then you need the customer that you gain during the period let's say you gain 50 customers during a one-year period let's call this during customers and then you have the number of customers that you have at the end of the period let's call this your end customers now your customer retention rate is calculated as your end customers minus your during customers divided by your start customers multiplied by 100 so it means that if you started the year with 100 customers but you ended the year with 120 customers don't forget you you gain 50 customers during that period your customer retention rate isn't really bothered about the 50 it's trying to figure out how many of that hundred stay that is why in this instance it's going to be 120 minus the 50 divided by 100 times 100 percent which then gives 70 divided by 100 by 100 percent essentially telling you that 70 percent of your customers stayed within that period now you see when you open it up like this one might jubilate over gaining 50 customers but you were able to retain 70% of your customers and therefore it means you lost 30%. Almost one third of your customers did not come back. What does that mean? Why is a customer retention rate very important to us? It's important because it means something is wrong with your customer satisfaction strategy. You need to satisfy your customers to make sure that they stay. Of course, it also means that in this instance, your conversion rate is quite good because you gain 50% of the number of customers that you started with during the period that is in question, let's say within this one year period. But the customer retention rate is looking at how many of your customers Customers stay. So going back to the formula, it's the end customers minus the during customers divided by the start customers expressed as a percentage. It's vital to your business, it's vital to you bringing out the entrepreneur. Thank you very much. Keep well. Brought to you by Africa School of Entrepreneurship.